In this video I will show you how I made this force feedback steering wheel that you can build at your home. We can use this steering wheel with any computer game that supports the custom controller setting like Assetto Corsa and ETS2. So without wasting any time let's get started. So let's start with the hardware design. Obviously first we need to make the structure for the steering wheel. As you can see the steering wheel is completely made of wood. These are the dimensions of the steering wheel. Then I added the bearings to fit the axle in place. You can choose the bearings according to the diameter of the shaft or axle. To drive the axle with more torque I used 4 to 1 gear ratio belt and pulley with motor. These are the components used in this project. This project is compatible with Atmega 32U4 based microcontroller. So we will use Arduino Leonardo. To measure the rotation of the steering wheel and provide accurate position feedback, I used 600 PPR aka pulse per rotation rotary encoder. For the force feedback we need 12 to 24 volt DC motor and BTS 7960 motor driver. I connected all the components according to this circuit diagram. Pedals are connected on the analog inputs of Arduino. On the remaining pins you can add buttons and shifters. I made the steering wheel out of plywood. Draw the shape onto the wood and cut it out with the jigsaw. Then I sanded the rough edges of the steering wheel and painted it black and attached the adapter onto the steering wheel. Later I added the shifters and buttons. For the handbrake I created a simple mechanism with button. One end of the button is connected to the Arduino digital input and the other end is connected to the ground. I built the pedals from raw materials that incorporates a spring mechanism and potentiometers. When you push the pedal, the potentiometer rotates, changes its resistance value which is then detected by the Arduino. You can see the connections for the potentiometers in the circuit diagram. I am using this USB connector to connect the pedals with the steering wheel. To power the steering wheel, I am using this 19 volt laptop adapter. After everything is done, now it's time to upload the firmware. We will use Xloader to upload the firmware on Arduino. First open the Xloader. 
and select the location of firmware. Select the device. For COM port, open the device manager. Connect the Arduino to the computer. By pressing the restart button on Arduino, the board will get into the bootloader mode. Then look for the bootloader port number in the device manager. Select the port accordingly and upload the firmware. Remember, you have only few seconds to do that. Later in the future, if you want to revert to stock Arduino Leonardo board, then you can upload this firmware. To install the build config software, run it as administrator. After the installation, connect the steering wheel to the computer and open the configure software where we will perform all the configuration settings. Here select the gaming device and port number. If you see the firmware version 0.0, .0 then simply turn off the toggle switch on the steering wheel. After the firmware is detected, turn on the switch. You can also use this switch to center the wheel. Now go to the advanced settings. Here set the command mode to PWM plus minus and enter the PPR of your rotary encoder. In the digital inputs, you can add the buttons on the remaining pins of the Arduino. Then in the analog inputs, set your wheel encoder and pedals. Here you can set the rotation angle of the steering wheel. By pressing the center button, the wheel will be centered. If your wheel rotates in opposite direction, then you can use this invert checkbox. For the force feedback, I set all the game effects to 100%. That's it for the configuration. All the settings are saved in the Arduino AP ROM. So we don't have to redo it all again. Before playing any game, make sure to test all the controls. You can use wheel check software to test the force feedback settings. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something new. If you found it helpful, like this video and share it with your friends and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Until next time, 
स्टे क्रिएटिव एंड स्टे ऑसम awesome.